and we're in full recline right now. So I guess that's where the pillow would come in if you wanna just unwind after a long day of not doing anything and being rich. What's up guys, today's video brought to you by Manscaped. If you've shaved your balls in the past, you know that not all razors are equal. If you've ever nicked your balls or your shaft with an electric razor, you hate yourself. You're like, oh my God, my junk is bleeding. And that's not fun. Try them out, they've got a great product. The Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer has ceramic blades with skin safe technology. They help reduce nicks and cuts and can easily be replaced so you can groom with confidence. It's cordless and waterproof, so you can trim in the shower, which is super convenient and makes it super easy to clean up. It's the one I recommend, it's the one I use, and for the three of you guys to get excited by that, all right. For everybody else, this is for you, not for me, because I already use them. So anyone else, uh, if you want, I wanna get rid of some of this stuff too. Um, send me your order confirmation. Just send me a screenshot of your order confirmation. I will pick the first bunch of people and I'll sling stuff like, this Ferrari tail light from a 430. It's all yours. Hey, look. Gallardo mirror. Signed. It's yours. I'll send that stuff out to you. I'll send some shirts out. Whatever it is, the first 10, 15, 20 orders. Uh, send me rob at superspeeders.com. Send it over to your screenshot. There's also a promo code. So use speeders20, S P E E D E R S. 20. There's a link below in the description to go check them out. It's going to save you 20% plus free shipping on your order. Try them out. Link in the description. Manscaped. Well, look at this. Here's a car they stopped making. It's a Bentley Mulsane Speed. Now this is a 2018 Mulsane Speed. It's a long car. This is a Mulliner Edition car. And you can see they've got the little speed designation here. Right on the fender. And it's a little bit of a boss car. I mean, this is like Rolls-Royce territory. This isn't a Continental GT. This is their luxury, luxury, big ass, big boss uh, Bentley Mobile. Now, what do you get when you spend 400 plus thousand dollars on a Bentley? Let's open it up and see, because that's not a cheap price tag. And speaking of price tags, I mean, look at this. You got to admit, like the the metal and everything, really nice, and that glows too. But this car, windows out, and the Mulliner package and everything like that, windows out at $411,000. So base price, three thirty-five. dollars uh, The Mulsane Design Silver Pack, whatever that is, that's 40 grand for that option. The uh, Speed Premier Spec Radiator Mascot, what is $10,000? Radiator mascot. So this, you're telling me that guy, that little B is 10 grand? That's cool. They got the name and the headlight there. Look at that, it says Bentley. I get excited by little things, but let's just be clear. Radiator mascot, that's gotta be this. That can only be this. And that, this little, this little thing is 10 grand. That's wild. That's wild. It's amazing what people pay for. Maybe there's a reason they don't sell these anymore. Uh, $9,100, no, Speed Premier Spec with Radiator Mascot. So, oh, maybe it's the Speed Premier Spec. The Radiator Mascot's probably a designation of it's a Speed. The Speed Premier Spec is probably just like the extra two pounds of boost and whatever they do to make it a Bentley Speed. Wow, that was good. Uh, name for Bentley, that's the sound system or the, uh, the whatever that thing, the logo that comes. Cross stitching, which is nice. I mean, look, the, the stitching. Gotta love the stitching. Uh, $4,870. You also have the stitching in the doors here. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a nice car, but I'm a buyer when this thing depreciates. And depreciate they do, my friends. This car is worth roughly half of this. Um, we've got vent front seat and massage function. The massage buttons, if you're looking on the Bentleys, are here, right? It's always right on the uh, bottom of the seats. Um, four spoke rims, steering wheel, deep pile carpets. These are deep carpets? Yeah, that's, 
I guess. I'm not as fluffy as the Rolls Royce car, but they do it better. But I think it's terrible gas mileage. Put this back where it belongs. And it's directly comparable to a Rolls Royce. It's not, I mean, it's definitely nice to be driven in. I don't know why people still do ashtrays. This thing, it's, it plugs in here. Like, what do you do? You either have to have an ashtray in here or you have a hole. I don't like that. Um, you get your Bentley pillows here, which the pillow directly gets in the way of your massage seat back here, which is a little frustrating. The uh, stitching, even here, look at this. I mean, this is like once around the park and then home sort of car. They're all about smoking in the car. But check it out. This is the uh, massage function here for the back. You got your own AC controls in the back here. You get this lovely blanket, this whatever it is. Sorry. Oh, that car just went down in value. Look, it's a fancy blanket. Uh, it's just, just, don't worry about the blanket. Forget about the blanket. Forget I even brought up the blanket, guys. Blanket's a pain in the ass. Uh, you got two charging things in here, two charging ports wrapped in leather. Everything's nice. These are USB. Yep, two USBs. And if you want to put this up, it sort of becomes a three-seater, but this isn't really where you want anyone to park. Uh, you can see that these don't line up because these are reclining seats, and we're in full recline right now. So I guess that's where the pillow would come in if you want to just unwind after a long day of not doing anything and being rich. Uh, that's what you do. But the back seat of this car, I mean, this is, its it screams expensive. So the fact that you could scoop one of these up with low miles for for that low $200,000 is pretty impressive right now. I guess that's why they discontinued it because selling it became clearly a problem. Here you see the sound system that was $8,000, which to be fair, like I get people have money, but you shouldn't be spending $8,000 in the sound system and anything anymore. Unless there's like diamonds in the speakers and you're like from Dubai and you just want to show off. I don't think that should be like a standard option. And is this, I can't tell, but I feel like this is a speaker grate covered in leather, perforated leather. Um, this, what does that do? Does that close the door? It doesn't close the door. It turns on the lights. Got it when they're off. Um, this puts up the screen in the back. You got the screen in the back. Let me turn this thing on so I can show you what it does. Now, I mean, I could, we could take it for a drive and say, wow, this is a fast Bentley. But yeah, you know, it's a fast Bentley already. All Bentleys are fast. They've got the twin turbo W12s and they can put down some serious horse puppies. But when you look here, oh, start button. that blanket that was non-existent we got little armrests here another ashtray I'm really like smoking in these things um, and then if you look in the back so these are double switches right you pull them you push them down once see puts the windows down pull them all the way up great and then what happens if you pull them up again oh yeah there's your privacy screens now you want privacy screen in the back that's right here Need some shade. Let's throw some shade at some people. Boom. You got your automatic, you got your parking brake. This is the auto start stop. I think they should just get rid of that button because if you get 12 miles of the gallon anyway, who really gives a damn? You've already paid your gas guzzler tax. Um, let's turn the AC on in this thing. Turn it back into an igloo. Um, you've got your disabled Bluetooth. It doesn't matter. You can all stay on. We don't have to go through the features of that. now. All right, I'm going to turn into a wind tunnel, so let's back that down a little bit. Oh, cooled seats. Oh, let me just turn on the cooled seats. That's nice. All right, let's drop this way down. Bring it down. Bring the other side down a little bit, too. All right, now we can talk. We've got these lovely gauges here. Uh, fuel gauge, temperature gauge, clock. Uh, here is cool. They, they want to be cheeky, so they did the gauges uh, in reverse. So now you're tachometer goes this way and your speedometer also goes that way so when it's nice that when you're doing a hundred miles an hour even it's at uh, six o'clock which see normally you're used to it going the other way just little things to make it better now this car has only got whatever 2400 miles on it which is it's brand new but just say it was a $412,000 car new with 
2,000 miles on it, it's probably 235, 240 grand. Think about that. Somebody, and let's do the math here, somebody lost a lot of money because that is almost $200,000 in depreciation in 2,400 miles. That's just like throwing, is, is it more than throwing a $100 bill out the window? Yeah, it's like throwing $1,000 out the window every mile. No, $100 bill every mile. It's a mile, 100, mile, 100, mile, 100, mile, 100. And then you got to pay for gas too. That's expensive. But, I mean, objectively, really nice car, right? Objectively, would I ever buy one? I would when it's like $75,000 with 30,000 miles on it. This would make an excellent daily driver. What do we got here? We got back it up. There's bumper sensors. It's got everything. I'm going to pull this into my shop. This is the... It's got the same... Like, these are all... Like, you get this on... And you can even see stuff like that on a cheap Bentley. When I say cheap Bentley, like a used GT Coupe or something like that, which is like 60 grand. Um, this is that fancy steering wheel that they charge you a lot of money for. It is long. It does feel longer than the uh, than the GT models because it is. But it's got all these nifty little features that just make it nice. Like this, I don't even know what this like diamond pattern is, but it does add an element of like, all right, that car's pretty expensive. Let me give it a little bit more room because I know there's a motorcycle coming back through here. But I mean, objectively. I'm a fan of, this is sort of like a drive me around car, not really a drive it yourself car. I think the GT range is more of a drive it yourself car. And I think what may have done this car in is that it doesn't feel like the type of car that you want to be. I mean, it's nice to be driven in, but it's not like an extended wheelbase Phantom or a Maybach. I think they've sort of, or even an S-Class, I think they've sort of beat the market up on the drive me cars. The Bentleys, I think, are more of like, I'm going to drive myself because it's a Bentley and I just want a nice, impressive car to drive. And I think that's what probably killed this car, that, that it's not really a drive-it-yourself sort of car. Or that's at least not what they were going for. But there's no coolers in it. There's no, like, champagne glasses, all that stuff that you normally get. It's got plenty of storage space. It's got all that stuff. And when you pop the trunk, it's even got... Unlike the Rolls-Royce, but like the Rolls-Royce, the umbrellas are back there. So, I mean, it's, you're not really, now you have to get wet. You're, you're a peasant. You have to get out of the car. I guess the driver gets out of the car to get your umbrella versus the Rolls-Royce, which has the umbrellas single button right in there. So, I hope I gave you an idea of what these things are like. They're nice, clearly, um, but it's got to suck to be the guy to spend 400 plus thousand dollars and literally just watch that money light up in flames. And that's with a low mile car too. We're, we're not talking about like a 40,000 mile car and the guy got his values worth. This guy's losing a lot of money. And look, you can see the texture on the inside of the door handle here. Look at that. You see the reflection. This is smooth, textured. But uh, I don't know. Well, you know what? Let's pop the hood. Why not? While we're here, got a hefty grip on it. Wow, I'm so happy this emblem wasn't nine thousand dollars by itself. Six and three quarter liter twin turbo. Engine number twenty nine. This is cute, right? Not much to see. Definitely using all the Bentley logos, so you don't mistake it for anything else. Mobile One, excellent choice. And look at that. But there you have it. If you wondered what a $400,000 Bentley was like compared to a $200,000 Bentley, just has a bigger grill in the front. It does. It does scream a little bit of a Rolls Royce like profile in the front. But if it was me, I would take those two and then $200,000 instead of this. Those two and a GT. Like you can get these two and even like a Flying Spur or a Continental GT, or you can get this new. And you know me, 
I'm a value guy. But anyway, Rob Ferretti here. Thank you for checking out the Bentley Mulsane Speed Mulliner Edition with me. And I think it's pretty cool. I like to be able to bring cars as they come in and come, come through this place that are cool, that I think are unique, and, and it'll be worth sharing with you if you disagree. Don't watch. If you agree, enjoy. See ya.